Area drivers got their first look today at another completed section of four-lane highway between Thunder Bay and Nipigon. The 14-kilometer stretch from west of Mackenzie Station Road to Birch Beach Road was open to traffic for the first time. There's still a lot of construction to take place before the total 104-kilometer stretch is completely four-laned. But as Matt Scooby reports, there's a renewed sense of accomplishment for those involved. After three years and $62 million, another four-lane section of Highway 1117 has been successfully completed, much to the delight of people on hand at the official opening. But no one was more excited than Minister of Northern Development and Mines, Michael Gravel. Obviously a dream project. Uh, when I first got elected in 1995, I began talking about how I felt we, we, we deserved to have a four-lane highway between Thunder Bay and Nipigon, and indeed uh, that dream is coming true. This section is the second of 13 that will make up the entire stretch from Thunder Bay to Nipigon. Gravel says the purpose is twofold. The safety factor is really the big one. There's no question that four-lane highways are safer. They certainly flow the traffic more safely, and that's important. And from an economic point of view, uh, it helps move our goods and services better. It makes it more attractive for people to, uh, to come through Thunder Bay and obviously parts of northern Ontario. Regional commander of the Northwest Region for the OPP, Ron Van Strahlen, agrees with the safety part, especially when it comes to dealing with accidents. With the two-lane highway, it's very difficult, to, especially in northern Ontario, to get people rerouted. So you get a lot of people waiting, frustration, and, and dangerous situations. So when you're, when you're talking about a stretch of highway like this, it's a real boon to us in particular to be able to... Uh, facilitate the flow of traffic and, uh, and make sure that people get to where they got to get in a safe manner. Gus Chiarello is a senior operations manager for Bot Construction, the company who built the new section of highway. He says it's been a lot of work, but they're proud to be finished, and they couldn't have done it without the help of residents along the way. You know, we came in here, we had issues with access. Uh, we couldn't access because, you know, the highway's in the back, the old highway's down further. People gave us, you know, let us use their property to access the property to access our work site, which made it a lot easier for us. You know, it, they've been great. But construction has also begun the expansion of the Nipigon River Bridge, another 13-kilometer section of four-laning between Highway 527 and Mackenzie is expected to be complete by 2015. Gravel also announced that $513 million will be invested into the Northern Highways program for the 2013-2014 construction season. 29 of those projects are in northwestern Ontario. Matt Scooby, TBT News.